Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. You know, as believers, we have the greatest privilege of calling on the name of the Lord. We have the greatest privilege of taking our needs to God. In other words, we have the greatest privilege of praying to the living God and, uh, um, and seeing our prayers answered, heard and answered. Um, there are many kinds of prayers in the Word that we see. Prayer of asking and receiving, a prayer of faith and intercession and so on. Um, we're going to learn about, we're going to look into the Word and, and study uh, about one prayer that was made and, uh, and then learn from it. So today we're going to look at Philippians chapter 1 and part of it uh, where Paul prays to the believers or Paul prays for the believers in Philippi. And this is what he prays. He says in verse 3, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, making request for you all with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So here Paul prays and he says, you know, uh, uh, he thanks God upon every remembrance. Every time he's reminded of them, he thanks the Lord. So he's praying these prayers, these spontaneous prayers, and every time he's reminded of something or, or some believers uh, in Philippi, he thanks God for them. This, the thing he, he says is that always in every prayer of mine, making requests for you, um, uh, with all joy, for you all with joy, for your fellowship in the gospel. So their partnership in the gospel, their partnership for kingdom work is something that he's praying for, that they would partner, that they would uh, do the work uh, of, uh, of the kingdom, of the extension of the gospel, of the kingdom of God. Uh, um, and is, this is something that he is constantly praying. And this is something that we can pray as well. You know, pray for people, for their fellowship, thank God for their fellowship in the gospel, uh, gospel work. And uh, if, we, if we know that they have not yet uh, started doing any, you know, anything for the kingdom of God or in, uh, uh, in the extension of the kingdom of God, for the extension of the kingdom of God, uh, we can pray towards that as well. Maybe there are some challenges, maybe there are some fears and maybe there's some wrong understanding which is really preventing them from going forward and uh, stepping out in faith. So we can pray and ask God to enable them to get into kingdom work and work for the extension of the kingdom. The other thing he declares is this, declares over them is this. It's more of a declaration, not a petition, but he just declares. Um, being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So he's declaring that, you know, the God who has begun a good work will bring it to completion. Whatever work he has started, maybe you've, you know, you as, as a believer, you started your journey, you're working with God, you're walking with God. Now, the work that the Lord has started, he is faithful to bring it to completion. So he declares that over them. So here, we see that this is a kind of prayer that we can pray over ourselves and we can pray and uh, uh, for our fellowship in the gospel work and we can also make this declaration over ourselves saying that God who has started a good work in me will bring it to completion. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We, we give thanks for those whom we know in our sphere of influence, whom you have brought into our lives. And Father, we pray, God, for their fellowship in the work of the gospel. And Lord, we pray that you'll bring them to maturity and uh, I pray that they'll discover their call and purpose and uh, step in, step out in faith uh, into the work that you've called them. And I just pray if there are any barriers and if anything that is hindering them, let it be removed right now in the name of Jesus. For, Father, we also declare over their lives that the Lord who has started a good work, you will bring it to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. And uh, let this give them much hope and much joy and much confidence. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.